Stop me. <laughs> he opens the door. Like, <laughs> All right, make an opposed strength check as Ashoka's holding the door shut. I think Akka sees Ashoka holding the door, and he's now holding the door. There we go. All right, I will aid Akka. No, is what he says in Imperial Common. Oh, no, he's picking up language. <laughs> <laughs> he knows too much. Uh, Sorry. Magnus, ruin it for you. <laughs> Why is this not... Uh... Ten is what Akka gets. Two. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can hear you can hear the fiddling and some laughter inside. You're pretty sure jokes are being made at your expense. Magic missile. Phineas. Walking for two minutes. What the hell happened? <laughs> Uh, Phineas is magic missileing Magnus because Magnus swatted at Nyx for yeah. ten damage, and the the people that are having a big revel in in all of Damari's blessed press are telling or were booing uh, the wizard and throwing grapes at him. Okay, Phineas walks off in a huge huff. All right. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps... <laughs> the triumvirate <laughs> is triumphant in there. Perhaps trisection. Should... You need uh, to take right some Fuck personal off! time. <laughs> hmm. Many a time Magnus said he's Aka just looks at, looks at Ashoka. Uh, Nix is being really sucky because he because he, he's got ten. He's got like he's bloodied. He, he's sort of in your he's in your uh, arms right now. Yeah. Sorry. Nick, sorry. Stupid turkey. Turkey. <laughs> Nick's turkey. So he, he brings him home. <laughs> in, in his huff, he doesn't go through a road, so he's like ducking clotheslines, and they're barking dogs and playing children. And you find your way. You find your way back home. <laughs> Make certain he doesn't get hurt. Mm. Naka goes following through the alleyways after. Uh, after Phineas. Do I see Akka doing that? Uh, well, sure. Following? Yeah, he's following at a at a reasonable like a di reasonable distance. When you okay. stop, he stops. Like he's he's not being threatening. Okay. He he snaps his fingers and signals him forward. Okay. Akka comes up to you. Oh, tell him no. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but he just slaps him across the face. Okay. Kriaka doesn't hit back. He looks cross, but he's not. He points him forward, like, go ahead, go. Okay, he wanders by you. He keeps on looking over his shoulder, though. Yep, yeah, he brings him to the Ludus. Okay. He opens the door for you. Mm-hmm. And he walks him down. All right. He, he sits down with the other gladiators. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Baldo. Okay. <laughs> Come. He, he walks. Where are you bringing him? Down to the cellar. To your, to your prison? Your two-point prison or whatever it is? Oh, no, not the prison. The dragon. <laughs> You're the new feed the dragon. <laughs> he hands him some meat. <laughs> Akka wants to talk? Mm hmm. Feed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. He hands him the meat. Okay. The, uh, the other guy who's feed the dragon <laughs> uh, scrambles away from the door. Akka looks a little uh, concerned. He takes a few breaths. He looks back at you like, are you sure? He's holding the door. And standing up, he's learned from the from feed the dragon. <laughs> he's <laughs> okay. up on the thing. All right, Akka, give me an initiative check because the dragon is smelling something is near. The dragon wants to eat something. Not Five. No, no, he tells the yeah he he yells inside the through the through the door in draconic. Yep. If you can hold off, I'll push him in for you. Give me meat. That's what it says. Man meat. <laughs> Man meat. Yes. Yes. 
yes, yes, yes. Aka doesn't know what you're saying. Just be quiet for a second. Uh, sense motive? Yeah. You can get a sense motive. The dragon, you can give me a... Oh, I'm not going Di against the dragon, I'm going against the human. <laughs> yep, so give me a bluff mark and a diplomacy. The bluff is you're trying to... He already knows that... that um... I want bad things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Emma, what the hell what was the that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I, I need a little miniature for Sargon. Give me a second. Okay. I saw what was going on outside. Oh, we've learned that Phineas is, uh, oh. is, is vindictive. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Um, so uh, now that we're going to have one one storyline at the Road of Sorrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sargon is a tiny little dragon. <coughs> That's why I couldn't find him. Those are probably the best dead hit points ever. I don't know ever. how he plans on having his familiar live through the next 24 hours. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm All characters, Mark, yeah, there are some people in the stream, Mark, that have watched us for 70 or 80 games. They know you as well, almost as I do. <laughs> um, at, at least your, your tendencies. Okay, so Akka gets a sense motive versus your bluff. You're, not, you're muted. Sorry, dog issues. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's got a th three. <laughs> he's like... Twelve. Okay, he he doesn't like what you're making him do. He's not his slave. Yes, he is. Nope, he is Ashoka's slave. I don't think Ashoka owns him. He belongs to the... All okay, of us. he's... He shakes his head like he doesn't want to do it. Take a look at the top. <laughs> Charm person. Okay. He, while he's doing that, he's tossing the meat down. And then give me the diplomacy check for the dragon. You convince the dragon of something. Whether or not it's going to listen like is basically what... Oh, yeah. Uh... You're like, back away. Pretend to be, pretend to be like not... Oh, yeah, he didn't... Ah, oh, the dragon's like, give me meat! <laughs> you can hear, you can hear it scratching at the back of the door. <laughs> um, Aka doesn't want to open the door with the dragon right there. He backs away and he he, he shakes his head no. Um, you notice Sona getting up. Is there a problem here, sir? Yes, this one doesn't know how to follow orders. You know how to use a whip, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. I'd like to see no skin left on this man's back when I come back. Okay, so is... You want me to whip him, sir? Oh, I'll put him in chains first, don't worry. Akka's now hunched down and looking around as the Ludus is... He's, he's just like, give me your hands. Turning <laughs> on him? Let's see. If we go to this map, uh, I'm on conversation now because all the gladiators are there. Meanwhile, what is Ashoka doing? Ashoka is under the impression that uh, Akka is making certain Phineas doesn't get murdered on his way home and is making certain that um, the freshly wounded Magnus doesn't get murdered during the night. Ashoka's um, sphincter is tightening. <laughs> 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 Alright, so Sona Bull, Fleas, <coughs> and Sona Bull and Fleas are loyal to Magnus, but they know that the other two masters belong to him. Vanu, Drain hate each other, so they're not standing anywhere near each other. Drawl hasn't done anything unless directly um, commanded to, and he, he, he is so depressed that he barely moves. Or maybe that's just the way gargoyles act. You're not sure. Um, Drain doesn't like the tribal dude. 
Drawl's not doing anything. Vanu sees three against one and backs off a bit. Sona <laughs> steps Sona steps forward with Bull. Ah, uh, calm down, Aka. Can you speak to him? No, the only one who speaks his language is a shocker. Does anyone speak this man's language? Vanu. Uh, he nods. Vanu, uh. Tell Aka he is going to be punished. Vanu, Anya, is turning you off? Oh, two wives still to Aka. Aka, do not say well with you. Oh, you suck. I can't say it. Sona whips and points. They're they're bringing out a uh, a log that that you kind of like kind of tie someone down mm -hmm. on it. Aka. Aka looks furious. Oh yeah. Bull, go get him. Bull, please. <laughs> the, uh, the two tribal guys have not done anything to make friends with Sona, Fleas, and Bull. They got no. Nope. They got no compunction tying Aka down. Bull does is not smart enough to care about what other people think. Sona is. He watches to see what Drain does. Drain has no love of the other guys. Droll is just on, looking like with his same sort of stony expression. All right. So uh, Ashoka, you're making sure that how long are you staying with them? Um, uh oh i'd say maybe an hour okay they they whip him they whip him a lot they whip him at least 20 times before he passes out now d2 oh no sona's strong d4 plus three averaging five so they whip him five times before he falls unconscious yeah yeah uh, actually phineas is actually going holy shit <laughs> one and he looks at you and uh, you would hear, from that distance, you would hear Two. a man screaming. <laughs> perception check from Ashoka, that'd probably hear him. From distance, it's like across the town. Yeah, yeah. he's... That's two blocks. Three what? blocks. No, it's... Well... Anyway, Aka man. has... This is non-lethal damage, too, so... They... Oh, yeah. You... He's got... 29 yeah, it, points. There's, yeah. there's non-lethal damage, but there's, like, painful non Oh, yeah, damage. yeah. By the third one, he's kind of whimpering a little bit. Uh, three! And sort of his fight has gone up from him. Uh, after six or seven whips... Like, after the sixth whip, he's barely conscious. Uh, Sona's looking at you like, am I done? One more should do it. <laughs> seven! Yeah, and he is unconscious. You can spend the night outside. Leave him, leave him in the courtyard. Vanu's like angry as well. The dragons calm down. Yes, yes, yes. Whip, whip, whip. Yeah. Okay, a few hours later, Ashoka. Yeah, it's time to bring Magnus home. He's passing out in a bowl of soup. Yep. <laughs> that really creamy sushi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Conan. <laughs> we love it. We love you, Conan. The original Conan, that is. And uh, you've, yes. you've got some people porting him and her home. Um, there was lots of fun that was had. And you're pretty certain that Magnus will, will go back. Um, they seem to get along, the two warriors. You've got some people wheelbarrowing Magnus back home. Phineas, you're probably mm -hmm. back up in your lab, I guess, by this point. Oh, yeah, he's getting high or something. Okay. Uh, the guards seem to give you this sort of look like they want to not be around. They open the doors and quickly go on patrol from the door after they shut it. <laughs> uh, the courtyard's empty. The gladiators are all inside, and we'll, we'll make this a little bit of pathetic fallacy. There is rain. There is a light spring rain that is raining down in the courtyard uh, as as uh, as day turns to night. 
Um, the dragon is quiet at this point in time, and all you see is Akka's uh, opened uh, opened um, leather armor and his back, a bunch of whip marks across the back, and he's still unconscious, cha- uh, tied to um, uh, tied to a um, uh, uh, what do you call it? A stalk. The porters don't say anything. Some of them were the women with the uh, with the with the staves. Mm-hmm. They look around like, "Ooh, we're glad that our Ludus isn't run like this." <laughs> you can see Akka's blood dribbling into a uh, uh, into a, a culvert. Something definitely went down here. Um, exactly. I am going to find Qued. They they position they position Magnus basically in an, in an overhang and kind of like we'll put him here. Um, the people with the cart leaves Magnus out in the rain, and it goes to look for Quid. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 um, Quid is sleeping. Grapes under, uh, under his covers. That is right. <laughs> All right. Um, the door to Quid's room is closed. <laughs> it's, nice always, nice. it's always closed. You hear a muffled voice. Give me a perception check. Tears over Vatapol. Uh, 23, I think. 22. 24. Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. I understand, Master. You only hear one side of the conversation. Of course. Perhaps. They're learning how to be masters. Yes, I know. They are not of one mind. It is fine. Bang, bang, bang. I will speak to you soon, master. Give me a moment. I am indisposed. (laughs) <laughs> you can hear Nem. Nem's Perfect. in there. Good. Of course. Your will is my own. Okay, there's this weird light that, that goes away. You could hear like a drawer or something moving. Some little footfalls. Yes. <laughs> what happened? You mean what happened? Between you and Quem, you know what happened? What happened? Oh, there was an incident in the courtyard. By the time I went over, I saw that there was shouting. Akka refused an order from one of the masters and was whipped. Akka does not take orders from Phineas. These are issues you should solve amongst a triumvirate. All of those slaves down there should learn that orders from all three of you are valid. No. Is my suggestion. Not when one of them is a junkie. It is a... Ah. They take orders from Magnus. They take orders from you. They also take orders from Phineas. You three are all responsible. Nem, out. Oh, it's comfy here. Go to your cage. <laughs> Looks up at you and scurries off. Closes the door. Well, kind of like hiding. This too will pass, Ashoka. Minor slights. You have much bigger fish to fry, you hear from behind the doors. After that thrashing, he is definitely your man. Ashoka's considering how easy it would be to murder Phineas. <laughs> um... 
<laughs> as, as a junkie? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, need yeah. accidentally fell on these seven daggers. <laughs> and Magnus right now as a passed out drunk. <laughs> uh, Ashoka is going to go to a place where he can see the courtyard and okay. basically sit in a chair till morning. Yeah, as you go over to the railing to look over at uh, at your man exposed and your and your your champion drunk in a wheelbarrow, there's a crackle of lightning from the heavens and a low grumble that this is not this may be be, be the beginning of a fracture that will grow into a crack and perhaps a rift between these three young uh, the Shoka's final thought of the night is I'd still chalk today up as a success. <laughs> Nem enjoying the cool the the uh, the cool rains after after sort of a warm spring day, early spring day, um, as you are on the cusp now of the first week of the games of this a great year that will to be that that will come for the Ludus for the Ludi of not only Vadapol but for the budding Ludus of the Conclave of Crimson Sands. Another grumble from the heavens sends Ashoka back slowly to a, to a chair so that he can look upon the rain pitter-patting down, washing away today's blood and tears. Washed away in the rains of Vatapol. As is... Things are as they should be. Fucking Empire. <laughs> Fuck the five. All right. God. I think this is a good place to. It, it, uh... It's a good place. Yep. All right. Magnus, Ahmed, you're not allowed to punch the healer. If Phineas is a fucking healer, you can't punch the healer, you can't punch the healer. <laughs> hey, hey, it's like a, it's like an All right, guys, kiss and make up. This was a really awesome session. I'm glad that, that you good. guys are. I'm glad that you guys are. Uh, are, are that was and, awesome. and we won another session without a fight. No, no, Ma fight. Magnus got the business. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that wasn't a real fight. That wasn't a real fight. <laughs> That was like a fake fight. <laughs> it, was, it was a fake fight where they were within one 60, crit of somebody dying. 60 hit points of death. Like any normal crit would have caused a death at the end of that fight. You've got a bunch of talky characters, though, that are that, yeah. a bunch of, like, skullduggery. Yeah, these guys and, aren't, and... aren't the fighty characters. Oh, no, no, this was, yeah. this was things went as they should. Um, Ooh, that got tense there at the end. That was... That was uh... <laughs> yep. You ah. slapped the familiar, so... I imagine missile you, but that's not enough, obviously. And then well, Phineas, I guess, uh, Phineas, I guess, with like shitty, with shitty sense motive, now has the murder thug of of Ashoka following him, and got <laughs> really, really creeped out, <laughs> and decided to take out his frustration on murder thug. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> they tried to murder murder thug. <laughs> right. <laughs> And he's such a racist that he's like, well, well, why would he be upset? I don't really understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was awesome. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, that was good. Uh, <laughs> some groups would fight over what happened at the end. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think yeah. just uh, ill feelings or... or um, let's, be, let's, let's be honest. We are trying to kill his familiar. <laughs> yeah. In a justifiable this way, is, this we're a trying drunk, to kill familiar. A drunk guy who said many times, "I'm gonna eat your familiar." Oh, See, oh, Ashoka yeah, is like, a little bit more long term off. than, than Magnus, who's like trying to actually do it. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. There's there's gonna be RPXP. I normally give them like the CRs yeah, right. of the villain that they that they go against. They oh, went up against oh. some people tonight that were like not even out of their class, but like even beyond there. Like some of those encounters were them getting bent slowly over over barrels. Um, I use that because you bent somebody over the barrel in the last game, right? So yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. record breaking that's how the blood pressure. Uh, that's how the halflings put it, bent over barrels. Um, so, um, yeah, let's figure out some XP and then give the name. Uh, the name of the game uh, will be probably Tears. What was it? Tears, Tears over, over Vatapol. Tears over Vatapol. Fucking poetic, man. Let's use that one. Come on, man. Oh, cool, man. All right, and I'll just tease you with a little with with the little uh, <laughs> relationship sheet. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. It, it's good that um, oh, Mark's not here. I'll wait for Mark to be back. 
<laughs> Bag's gonna wake up like, what the fuck happened? Why do I have feathers in my fist? <laughs> I was it was fucking awesome role playing all around. So um, uh, as long like I know how to push the players' buttons, I know how to push the characters' buttons. I think, and and the players know how to push each other's buttons. Oh yeah, because we've been playing together for like a decade. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we Mark, Mark <laughs> is a masterful button pusher. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I, and and I, this is not the type of game that you can play with like anything political you can't just take random people and throw them in yeah you've got to temper it somehow and we're tempering it a little bit because we still want the game to be fun um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the party devolving into like a three way fight for supremacy will be much more impactful when that happens much later <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah. But I sent them no notes tonight. Like, tonight I was like, I was just as like, oh god, no! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> uh, so, um, I would probably ask my players if it came down to like they're now doing a lethal fight against each other, I would probably ask them, like, like quietly, like, are we good with this? Um, because it's a different style of game. Um, yeah. Or you're smart and don't fight for supremacy because you guys are like true gestalt awesomes who all serve a purpose, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or you wait until you get dominate persons. <laughs> <laughs> Protection uh. from evil. <laughs> Uh, I'm having a hard time. No, there, there was one little side note from Ahmed <laughs> at the end there. I'm just going to read it out here. Wow, Mark's not happy at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm racing initiative. So, what did you guys do tonight? Uh, you visited the uh, the sea the, the sea people. Sea God. Yeah, that was pretty dudes. cool. Um, like you were got you got scared at that place. That is yep. worth CR your own level by being brave enough to go in there. Yep. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, no, Kinta, that's that's a joke. Um, I, I'm cool with charming player characters, but I consider dominating a player character basically the same as lethal combat. Um, that's not a... Yeah, that's not a state that you can play. Charm? Charm is one that you can play. Uh, but dominated... And playing playing yeah, a dominated played. character, if like the DM dominates you, if the DM dominates you, you should give the DM your character sheet until the end of the dominate. Like, yeah, it, it is. Uh, it, it, so there's a whole conversation we can have about um, uh, player agency and dominate spells that uh, are difficult. L losing your agency is the worst. <laughs> okay, you may visit the magister and you visited uh, the um, uh, the commissar. Those are CR commissar, four piece. Yep. You visited the head of the temple and got. Hold on, we got we got we got gifts and the. Uh... We got gifts at the shop. I'm going to give you a little bit temple? of XP because that encounter I really enjoyed because yeah. something that I learned was you don't... Sometimes I do just throw lore at you, right? You make a knowledge check, you're asking a question, yeah. I throw some lore at you. Um, that one you learned about the world while on a shopping trip. Yep. That's, that's the part where I'm like, I know how I'm going to introduce the concept of the Undying Emperor. I'm going to talk about it now. I've been dying to talk about it for ten games, but none of you have ever asked, who the fuck's the Emperor? <laughs> what do we know about the Emperor? No, there are these little doll like figurines, like he's a god, and they're in everyone's house. And, uh, little action figures. Little action figures. Oh, I could probably scry through them or something like that. <laughs> oh, look at you, paranoid player. There's just so many of them. What do you mean scry through all of them? You can't possibly scry through all of them. Yeah, just one that you care about at a time. <laughs> um, so learning a little bit about the campaign world and meeting a merchant and, and being friendly with him. Cool. That's worth some XP. Uh, what else? Uh, then you guys... The com so the commissar... Yep, got him. And deals. Yep, then got the, him. Um... The knight, the knights of Vatapol. You went and you went and put up with his assholeness, and then you uh, yep. got charmed. Ooh, I helped helped that guy out and did some kind of plus one at some point. Plus one. Oh yeah. The uh, the weird 
Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of XP, but the, the actual thing will happen once we start the gladiator turns sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Big Brother's watching. Uh, what else? Um, then you... Big we, Emperor is watching. <laughs> we saw. Well, we went to the knights. We went to the uh, uh, to Dimitri. We went to the magistrate. We went. To, I got the magistrate. Yeah. Uh, we went to the charmy lady. Charmy lady. Oh yeah, you you came across a a basically a charm trap, and you put up the charm trap. Uh, the fight. The fight with a the, six uh, level uh, with a six level fighter is a CR five. Good role playing yep. uh, while drunk and afterwards. That's worth XP. You've now made friends. The Rancor dude. Mm. That was like yep. fucking pull. I, I I I knew you were gonna go meet all the heads. I thought you were gonna ignore the Rancor dude because he, he just didn't come up as a the beast tamers and they just didn't come up as a like a thing that you were worried about. So uh, no, no, we needed we need the favor, man. <laughs> yep. Uh, the scene at the tavern is a CR three. And whipping one of your gladiators and learning that it's okay to whip your gladiators uh, is worth a CR. Uh, Hiaka is a CR2, so, uh, oh, sorry, a second level warrior, or second level um, fighter, ranger, so you get a CR1 for that. Now, question. Yes. Does Akka get XP? Akka will get XP. Um, the, the gladiators will all get, like, this token amount to represent that they did stuff, but Akka will get, will get, not a share, but he gets some XP because you you exposed him to things that he wouldn't have otherwise been. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then just overall good role playing, Mark. Mark, are you there, Mark? Mark. No, he's busy. He got a call. Mark. He's off. Mark. 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 Uh, tonight's XP divided yeah, yeah, yeah. by three characters. That was awesome Holy to get the guy shit. who uh, trained the dragon. And there's only three PCs in this. Yes. Ooh, that is a nice amount. Just, Level five. That is the highest amount that you guys have oh, earned. Oh, you you're fighting Diablo in the middle of the fight. You level. <laughs> you gain all your hit points. <laughs> so this one is called uh, Tears Over Vatapol. Yeah, this is pretty kick-ass. This is session 317 to 18. And all of you were here for the entire okay, session. Let me get that feat. Let me figure out your XP. I don't think you've leveled again, but... It's close? It, it's gonna be close. Like, like you guys have paid off your three-level deficit. Um, basically, I, I, let, I let sometimes people start at a level three, but they've got zero XP. Um, oh, I more low that. level com encounters uh, you need 23,000 for level um, Adam and Ahmed are about 1,000 away Mark's about 4,000 away um, you're getting 60% when you don't show up for game mm. 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 and then Aka will get some XP but I'll fiddle with that uh, to get the right uh, the right amount um, training will happen in gladiator turns, which are five day chunks, and you've got the resources for that. Um, why is RPing so freaking awesome? Because it's part of the game <laughs> it's name. So good. Yeah, it's <laughs> role, so role good. Playing. Uh, uh, yeah, this is something that you need to basically practice. As I know that sounds like well, just practice, man. Like that. Like I've I've had people like don't be a dick when i say practice but it's hard to not it is it can be a learned skill like it's not just oh they're good at it and i can never be uh you can practice Step one it. get over any fear you have or compunctions you have over talking in front of the people you're talking in front of nerdify yep don't be afraid nerdify. of doing silly voice it helps when the dm starts so with my group in person that i play with on sundays um, uh, some of them never played role playing games before. So I made a point at the first NPC they met, talked in a funny voice. And they looked at me like I was fucking insane. And then when the next NPC they talked to, talked in a different but funny voice. Or a different mannerism if you're not good at voices. Or they say different words. Their level of vocab is, is like higher or lower. 
uh, or they have obvious ticks or uh, you describe them as different uh, or like just to give them some sense of verisimilitude, verisimilitude and um, the world uh, some realness and you will find who's, who's got the RP bug in your group when you start doing that and make sure that it's a, a space that you're allowed to do that and you're allowed to laugh at yourselves. We laugh all the time. I know that I know that there were gaming groups back in the day that if we did this much laughing near the group, there would be these people like, oh, come on, be serious. But, you know, like, we, we laugh nervously to let out stuff. Uh, so. There's also not necessarily need to be a method actor. Yeah. Although, well, for me, like, when I first started um, playing a lot of D&D, &D, uh, I was Dude, more... Dude, no cares, man. Come on. Methodist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Darthanon. Remember Darthanon? Yep. Dude, remember I remember... Remember when Alea said, how come you never laugh? <laughs> That's because yeah. the first game we played with Alea, I Alvin played Darthanon, who lost joy in, like, session seven. Yeah, he fought Two something that, that instead of death, I'm like, something bad's going to happen to him. This paladin loses his joy. So it was like this automaton, like, ultra the Paladin serious. of death. <laughs> I remember Adam thinking it was so cool. I'm like... So, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, it was it was like your it was your uh, honor or joy or something else. It was like uh, it it was two things that if you gave them up, you couldn't be a paladin. Basically, <laughs> joy. Um, yeah, no, it was it, yeah. But that that whole session, like for that whole game, I didn't like laugh, and it, it's also like a little bit more like oh. So you need, to, you need to learn to turn things on and off. The practice, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember. No, I remember the first time I played with you guys, and you guys started doing voices, and like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had well, a, yeah, I then Ahmed is like, I, I can bring like I can bring weapons and a helmet and some armor. <laughs> it's like, oh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not LARP, we're not larping <laughs> over here. <laughs> there's, there's no amp guard. <laughs> Please stop swinging that sword. You're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh good role playing tonight mark uh you guys are in the highest amount you guys have got so far for like going and meeting all those uh all those folks um it'll be another game yeah another game like that and you'd be uh fifth holy crap okay cool. um, <laughs> yeah aka also gets a little bit of xp because you brought him around and he experienced a lot of the same things that you guys did uh <laughs> But the blood of his whipping, whipping will uh, go away with the rains, and all will return. <laughs> with every normal. whip, he lost a bit That's, of XP. So, so <laughs> well, that, the one thing I was happy about with the whipping is that Phineas what, is not a martial character, so that he didn't know that. No, well, yeah, he passed out. That means you can whip him for as long as you whipped him to pass out, and then almost that time again before you risk killing him. Right? You, <laughs> you whipped him a third of the way to dead. <laughs> well, 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 in Phineas's mind, well, if he's out cold, it doesn't hurt anymore. So. What's the point? <laughs> Wake him up. <laughs> I, I like how there's a, a, a murder death plot against your familiar. <laughs> and, and an even more insidious plot to get to convince you that the imp should be your familiar. I, I think I think that is that is precious. Uh, and, and it is a suitable plot line, like a like a little subplot for these Phineas, lawful neutral, doesn't care a lot about a lot of things. Ashoka, lawful evil manipulative and then magnus is a little bit madcap like chaotic neutral yeah. cares about certain things and doesn't care about others these three cre people do not mix well <laughs> at all <laughs> but we have to because our blood is on this oil shit. vinegar and blood it's like uh, i don't know how that um i got vinegar i got vinegar am i oil i don't know snake oil i guess i'm oil i'd be oil snake yeah. oil in the snake oil yeah okay. <laughs> Happy, good stuff. Uh, are we cool? Are, you, are you guys good? Yeah, yeah. Guys oh good? yeah, man, we're awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you good, Mark? Yep. Okay. Cool. I will still try to kill the bird, though. If I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And and Phineas was. Ah! Well, 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 then then Phineas hopes that uh, <coughs> your character likes the taste of almonds because you'll be singing it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Magnus is constantly eating poison gruel and has a sore stomach. <laughs> Not what poison to fun? kill him, just poison for like, ugh. Oh, Why do I keep sitting like this? <laughs> Every time well, he raises his shit. So like, the comment before, it, 
stop. The familiar is you're the healer right now. You can't touch the healer. You can't touch the healer's familiar, right? This is what's wrong with you. I couldn't. I was drunk. I think the next scene it will be Qued re conjuring the contract so all the slaves belong equally to the masters. I think that's the solution is like, you fucking idiots. <laughs> How is Magnus supposed to command a bunch of dudes if he does if he well, can't no, command so those them? Those dudes are part of Magnus's group. Right. But Phineas wasn't there for those contracts, so Phineas is it wasn't like Magnus and Noshoka could command those slaves, but Phineas is not legally an owner right quit but you're all equally owners of the ludus so something may have happened there quid will have to do some research on on whether <laughs> who, who's got press what what precedent to follow and then he may just add an addendum <laughs> <laughs> this this stupidity should not be a thing <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah yeah it's Qued, there's a reason awesome. why Qued's there to act as the mediator <laughs> also the help if things go bad um, this is not a, how I expected things to go bad but hilarious no, okay. it, it's it's great because our guys really like Magnus doesn't trust Choka from a hole in the wall and he doesn't know Phineas from a hole in the wall Choka hasn't done anything to make Magnus not trust him the only things he did was when he was charmed so it didn't matter uh, he was friendly uh, I'll, I'll give you Magnus' and, body and, and, and Ashoka <laughs> made the mistake of being a snake a literal snake <laughs> right, right. With, with racist in the group so, so. this is also the danger of what happens when you don't have an outside threat that is directly oh, threatening yeah, the characters yeah, yeah the guys are a little bored wait Wait until you start the gladiatorial arena, and I'm pretty sure that these three leaders will will figure out how to mix. Yeah. Oh, well, as yeah. soon as there's like a bigger problem. Yeah. Because we yeah. mixed really well when it was like, no, we're all going to die if we don't find a way to solve this problem, yeah, or when we had much. a problem and maybe even if it was like, eh, Magnus will die. Yeah. Well, we still have a thing to do. Let's let's go blow up the boat. Hey, boom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right have a good one, Mark. Yeah. 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 Wish, wish your wife well. Yeah. yeah I hope you do better. Uh, Bye. Anyway. Yeah. All right, so, guys. Uh, this is. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just saying, Sid, 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 Sid. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> so uh, I don't so mind Ahmed... playing. He'll be like a side character, dude. Just uh, saying. Just think about it. Just think about it. Ahmed's got a character from a past campaign. We do side campaigns once in a while, and I guess we so didn't get to play enough of these characters that his character Sid. Uh, he he's trying to convince me to play. I actually got messages in in VC during game about Sid. It was just saying, people, it would me. be fucking awesome to have a spy character in this campaign. Sid, Sid, Sid. Just saying, big smiley face. <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> awesome. Are we doing some rolling later tonight? Uh, no, I, th I think everyone's going to log off. We This is the second night of gaming, and I do have a, another game to prepare for tomorrow, uh, my in-person game. So we'll leave rolling for later on. Uh, I will do a session this week. Even if the guys can't play this week, I will do another session of, of rolling up some of the other gladiators uh, in the other four Ludi that we is did not Is Displacer Beast Man somebody who was rolled already? Nope, Displacer Beast Man was just like I've got I've got a list of like ideas for gladiators and um um where, where is this? I had a list of like possible gladiators and I just decided in the moment that uh that gladiator would be part of the beast uh the beast ludus. The blood vinegar and oil is actually also a good <coughs> one for for Dread and Circus if you wanted to do multiple like or or in fact blood vinegar and oil is probably a great name for this chapter if this right. was a book yep yeah. yeah actually i'm gonna write that one down that was uh that was uh i'm gonna be the alcohol in that one i, I feel like i feel like we 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 like uh we're not humble enough blood vinegar do you guys remember in the movie when when it, movie in Conan when they got a lot of treasure like somewhere yes. near the or barely beginning and he started going on a drinking binge right yeah. and then um, and, and then Barry like, said and fell asleep in soup 
Yeah, exactly. Right. That was, I yeah. think that was the phase. That was the phase. It had right. to be done. It was uh, awesome. <laughs> right. Well, we got it. We got it. <laughs> and then he got serious. Right. Uh, no, it was good. Uh, good stuff. Uh, those are the nicknames of the masters. Yeah, one's blood, one's vinegar, one's oil. Combustible, uh, slimy, and oily, and uh, um, bloody blood. Well, yeah, Magnus <laughs> covered in blood. Ah! <laughs> Red potion everywhere. Ah! Vinegar. Yeah, I think Vinius, because yeah, I think Vinius would be vinegar, and Ashoka would be oil. Uh, that's he really snaps fitting. between being like toady to being like horrible. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Just like irritable and he's neutral mood, slash mood, evil. mood swings mood swings. For, <laughs> mood swings for somebody who's uh chemically dependent yeah that's a, it makes yeah, sense that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a thing um yeah. the slow burn of ashoka's sort of like turning wheels oh yeah oh yeah no it, like if it, when he finally does a thing with retaliation to this it's not going to be now it'd be like two or three years from now you know <laughs> <laughs> and Ma and Magnus, we saw a bit of a, um, we see sort of a fun-loving side of Magnus tonight. Like Magnus isn't just a glory hound. Like, um, no, he, Magnus enjoys uh, he enjoys honor. He found honor with that uh, lady he fought. <laughs> Drake's he's fucking bipolar. He yeah, he's fucking bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Magnus enjoyed that. Yep, that's good. good. Um, and that. Is weirdly a romance plot <laughs> between yeah. two warriors. It's not yeah. the sixteenth level barbarian will fighter woman. It's her sixth level. Yeah, uh... her charisma is probably higher than ten. <laughs> so I was like, um, what's her charisma like? What's this woman's charisma like? Better than yours? <laughs> I hope so. Numbers right. higher than you. <laughs> uh, uh, funny. Okay, uh, it was a good night. I could have grabbed my uh, arm in the morning. <laughs> uh, Quinto, randomly, Foxfire, uh, Drakester, uh, Electric Skateboard. Electric. Uh, yeah, the viewer list is still trying to load. Cortex. Uh, Cortex said Foxfire, something. yes. Can't uh, remember. Randomly, Quinto. I'm just going to say them again, apparently. <laughs> Electrical Skateboard, Drakester. Uh, no. good, to, good to see you guys. Uh, as always, uh, happy you guys um, uh, hang out with us, and uh, this is what yeah, we will be really doing. Good. Otherwise, uh, we've been playing game together for like 10 years and this is awesome. Yeah. We, we are excited at this. Okay, cool. Um, uh, good night, everyone, and hope you guys enjoy this as much as we do. Peace. Peace. Bye, guys.